atomic batteries to power turbines to speed. Hello everyone. What time is it? It's that time. So when we have food go bad, like the moldy banana bread, stale tortilla, old french fries, we don't throw it away. Nothing goes to waste around here. Someone will appreciate this. So we cleaned out the refrigerator, found some old chicken, some old bacon, rib bones, some moldy bread. What are we going to do with all of this stuff? So here we have old sausage. Been in the back of the refrigerator for a while. The remains of a baked potato. Burnt shell of an otherwise really tasty apple pie. And some raw chicken guts. What are we going to do with all of this? So who wants these leftovers? Catfish. Someone will. So Hurricane Idalia didn't hurt bird feeder house but it did get everything very damp coming up through the front chute big pile of moldy grain uh, what should we do with it there we go everyone eats here we have a mama manatee the baby manatee in the backyard today. All right, cleaning out the pantry. Got stale potato chips. We got more moldy bread. We got old chicken salad. We got moldy banana bread, but that's okay because we can make some more real soon. In the meantime, Nothing goes to waste here. Okay, so we cleaned out the refrigerator. Got some baked beans several weeks old. The onion rings as old as those. And some moldy banana bread some two-week-old rice and fish. Oh, that's gross. I wouldn't want to eat it. But someone will. All right, so it's been a couple of weeks since we cleaned out the refrigerator. We got cardboard frozen waffles. We got old Getty meatballs, a couple of moldy buns. We have chocolate covered popcorn which wasn't that great there's chicken bones down there there's all kinds of gross stuff what are we gonna do with all this nasty stuff you know what we're gonna do with it
Okay, we just got back from the island in Merritt Island, fine waterfront restaurant. This was all of our leftovers. We don't like to throw away food. What can we do with them? If anybody down there wants them. Okay, here we have the remains of a rotisserie chicken we cooked in the rotisserie. Mostly bones and guts. We got some old French fries in the refrigerator way too long. What are we going to do with this? Right, so here's some leftovers. We have a roll piece of salmon with onions and mushrooms, potato log, pineapple chicken with barbecue sauce, and some pork. This is not going to the fish. This hadn't gone bad yet. This is my dinner. Yum. Boy, this bread's really hard. What are we going to do with it? Somebody doesn't care. Catfish are hungry tonight. Happy New Year, catfish. So here we have leftover ground up chicken breasts. Is that going to the catfish? No, the chicken breast is going somewhere else. Just more food to them. If you put 40 chickens in a small enclosure, they will all beat up, kill, and eat the smallest one. We had two rescues that were the smallest one at one point. We don't do that here. We got plenty of room for all of them. Lots and lots of mullet. Ooh, look at them go. I wonder what's under them making them jump like that. Guys, you guys are cute. <laughs> Bird Island. This is this is what's on this island. island next to the sandbar. Can exploring the crystal clear waters by the sandbar. Water clarity out here by the sandbar. It's clear to about six or seven feet. Beautiful Sunday. My chicken at the sandbar. Stingray. Not out here. There's quite a few of them. Definitely don't want to step on them. They will hurt you. Oh, right, she's doing man. good. <laughs> 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 
Doesn't care coming to the water. Oh, she loves it here. That's cool. You can pet her if you want. Yeah, it's okay. I'm afraid of getting thank you. She won't pet you. Yeah, just just pet the back of her neck. Oh, no. <laughs> you can try to see if he will. He probably will. Oh, he'll love it. Oh, look at this. Oh, God. at the sandbar. Any more? There we go. Thanks for watching our video today. Every Tuesday at noon, we put out a new video about Cocoa Beach boating, fishing, and life here in general. Also, if you want to move here, I am a real estate broker here. We own Happy House Real Estate. Contact us and we'll set you up in one of these beautiful waterfront houses. Thanks.